As we shared earlier in the show, legendary comedian Joan Rivers has died today. She was 81 years old. Rejoining us now to discuss the legacy she leaves behind is pop culture expert Emil Wilbekin. Welcome back, Emil. Emil. Thank you. So Thank we you. have to talk about just how much of an iconoclast she was. I mean, she was funny, she was witty, she was acerbic. She, she told it like it was. Yes. Some people didn't like that, but a lot of people around the world loved it. Just how big a deal is this loss? Well, I think the loss of Joan Rivers is, is huge because she was such a pioneer in so many ways. Mm -hmm. um, and I think people really take that for granted. I mean, especially as a woman, you think about late night television, in the world of comedy, in home shopping, she really broke through barriers that in many ways was an old boys club and a men's world. Um, so to be a woman, to be as brash yeah. and as real and dark as she was mm -hmm. and to still push through and she wasn't you know a classic beauty she always made fun of her looks and and her plastic surgery and her multiple multiple plastic surgeries mm -hmm. and wigs but she still was a strong force as a woman in entertainment and broke down barriers you think about you know Everybody, Queen Latifah, Monique, Roseanne, they all got opportunities because of Joan Rivers. Mm -hmm. I know one statement from her daughter says that my mother's greatest joy was to make people laugh. Mm -hmm. Although it's difficult to do right now, I know her final wish would be that we return to laughing soon. What do you think was genius about the way she made people laugh? I think what's genius, and you really saw this on um, Fashion Police, yes. Joan didn't care. Yeah. Joan did not <laughs> care. Very true. And I think the thing about it is, as much as we're mourning her right now, mm -hmm. I think the thing is she's a funny, she was a funny lady. Mm -hmm. So she didn't, she wasn't sensitive to things. She's called things the way they were. If you think about like Rihanna, she would make so much fun of Rihanna <laughs> at being naked at the, the, the fashion awards, you know, mm -hmm. like things like that. And she didn't care. Yeah. And I think that the fact that she did didn't care. It's what everyone's thinking, yep. mm -hmm. but she really just said yeah, it. Yeah, she right. was irreverent to the end. And we actually <laughs> interviewed Joan Rivers uh, at Last Fashion yeah. Week, which was one of the highlights of my career. Of course. And I think we have a clip. Let's take a look. Absolutely. Yeah. Who's getting it right on the red carpet? Nicole Kidman usually looks great. Halle Berry. There's certain girls that come down the carpet and you expect the best. You know, and then a lot disappoint you and you're so happy. Who's disappointed you? Oh, where do you want to start? Let's start with, uh... Well, Miley Cyrus. It was the foam finger, wasn't it? It was, it was... And the crotch rubbing of a married man. And sticking the finger up somebody's butt. But it was like, if you look back over the course of the last couple of years, it has been so carefully, carefully crafted taken from child star to fashionista to sex symbol and fashionista, and it all boom. And now, whore. Yeah, it's nice. Oh. Whore, is that what you said, Joan? No, whore. Okay. Thankfully, she kept it clean when discussing my look. Last thing, what's the key to get it, getting it right on the red carpet? Simplicity, lines, don't be crazy. Get it, gorgeous lines last forever. Gorgeous lines last good. forever. Oh, simple, simple, beautiful. Wait, was that a thumbs up from Joan Rivers? Did I pass the test? Stop, big time. <laughs> you passed the test, Lola. Go, Lola. Thank, you so, thank yes. you so much. Oh, Emil, thank you for being here. Sorry it's under sad circumstances, mm -hmm. but Joan Rivers will always be remembered and loved, mm -hmm. so thank you. And we'll have more on the life of Joan Rivers in our show tomorrow, so make sure you tune in. And thank you so much for watching this edition of Arise Entertainment 360. We'll see you tomorrow.